Hey everybody, Logan here, and today I decided to do something a little different because, um, yeah, I happened to go to, well, as the video says, Five Below. Most people don't really think of Five Below as a place to get video game accessories, but they actually sell a number of interesting accessories. Now, Five Below depending on who you are and how often you frequent them, I see Five Below as a high-end or a bougie dollar store. You know, they got some pretty good stuff at times, but uh, it's not like I don't go into a Dollar Tree or Dollar General or anything, stuff like that. Usually it's kind of junk. But Five Below is like, okay, not too shabby. So from time to time, I pick up a few uh, accessories. Just because I'm like, oh, that's kind of nifty. Oh, that's kind of nifty. And the the other day I went to one and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should show you guys just what Five Below carries. So, how about... Got a bag. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Welcome to Rip and Data Gaming. The channel where Logan will show you everything. Hey, look, it's Mario again. All right, so for those of you who uh, don't know, Five Below also sells new old games. So games for 360, uh, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo DS. And the other day uh, I went in and picked up two. Usually they carry anywhere between two and six titles at a time. So the majority of this video, like uh, the card says, is going to be Switch accessories. But turns out, I, I didn't realize I already had uh, these games. Well, at least, yeah, one of them I had. So, and that's Hitman Resolution and Elder Scrolls. Hitman Absolution, uh, yeah, I do not have. I'm looking at my wall right now, and no, I... Couldn't remember if I bought it or not, but hey, these games are five bucks a piece. So Elder Scrolls Online, I thought I had um, uh, like the, the fancy version, the one that had the, the first set of uh, DLC, and turns out I do, but I also had this Go Figure. I th didn't realize it, but what the heck, why not? So I was thinking about maybe even doing something with a giveaway or something of these so it's stay tuned and I, I might do something with five below games and uh i don't know give away a number but like you guys tuned in for they have plenty of switch accessories they have a few ps4 and uh, a few xbox one but the majority of the stuff is uh switch and one thing i noticed they're doing a whole reset and they're getting new accessories, so I grabbed what was there, but they have a lot of uh, stuff coming in. So I said, okay, you know what, how about we take a look uh, at what they have now. Next time I'll go pick up more, show you what they got. So we're going to start with uh, the clear case, and we'll actually try these out on a couple different, uh, uh, well, on the Switch, because all these are for the, the regular Switch. Now, these two right here, we have different charge cables, one that lights up. This one isn't specifically um, for the Switch. This is actually for Xbox One and PS4, but I picked it up along with, that's not the right one. So, there's another one uh, <laughs> that I had that would actually light up just like this red for the Switch. So, that's the wrong cable, and that was for the I something. Yeah, that was for the iPhone, because apparently I needed an extra one, so wrong one. And then there is dual controller charger for the Switch. It is really tiny, so we'll open that up, and then 24 game card case for Switch. 
So with that being said, I did have another one. I thought it was in the same bag. Um, yeah, I do. Hold on. Actually, I realized I picked this one up the day before uh, or a few days before and never tried it out. And then the same day that I got these, I saw that they have these in blue, black and gray as well. But I picked up red because why wouldn't I? We are red bandana gaming. Ha ha ha. So those are a few accessories that you see right now. And we are going to test them out on my swish. I got my pretty little red one here. So let's zoom in a little bit and pop these babies open and try them out. So hmm, we're going to cut these open. Now, their brand is called, I want to say it's called Bytech. Maybe it's BYTech. All right, it said two thumb grips included. There's nothing else in there. Oh, 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 here we go. Uh, little red ones. Okay. So... The ones I currently have, let me take this off. There's a little, little thing right here. I don't want to tear the, the silicone. So the ones I have on here, let me zoom back out. Oops, sorry, sorry. The ones that I have here are the Hyperkin ones. So I'll take these off. Those are the ones I like because of their texture. And these sticks tend to get pretty dirty. So let's see. Best way to put these on so you guys can see it. Now the red really doesn't match. Sorry. It kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. Sorry, I, I've got the, a weird camera angle. Like I said in a previous video, I still don't have the furniture. I'm waiting for it to come in. I ordered it so we could do this a little easier. And then filming will be easier. Now this does match the, the thumbstick, so that's good. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Eh, I feel like I'm going to tear it. Okay. Not so much. So red covered in red. All right. So that's already an issue. This is a little too big. So as you can see right there, play with it just a little bit. That's what she said. Okay. That's not family friendly, but ignore that. <laughs> All right. Okay, that kind of looks gross. You see that? I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of weird, and that's just the way. Yeah, I don't like this. Don't like the texture on the back. It's very rough. Ooh. Mm. 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 No, I'm not a fan. Some people might like these, but me... Not so much. So I'm going to take this thing off. And I really don't like that weirdness around it. The, the thumbstick covers are okay. Now, the thing is, these are five bucks a piece. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. You got to think about what you're actually paying for. So uh, my verdict on that, no. So next, we're going to pop this open. And we're going to look at the dual chargers. Okay, so much for doing it that way. Okay. Alrighty, 
So this would just plug right in, I guess. Let's see, can you get a, there we go. Pop these off. And I guess we will, does it, doesn't make a clicking noise, but it, it feels something. Oh, okay, you can hear it, I guess. Hold on. There you go. And then you just plug it in and it charges via USB, so you hook it into your switch. That's not too shabby, I guess. It, they feel a little... guess that's one way to charge them. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Five bucks to charge your, your Joy-Cons. Now we'll go with this. This is the clear case. Now one thing I do know about these, they used to sell these, but it was a different, a different design. This was a couple of years ago, I guess right around the time when they opened. Oh, we got more of those. Oh, yeah, it hasn't changed at all. I bought one of these. They changed the, the box, but these shells are terrible. So here, let's put that there. Now these things, they clip like this. Like I'll, I'll even show you. I'm not going to put the whole dang thing on because these are garbage. And I thought they would change it. Okay, okay, there we uh, see. They don't line up correctly. Ugh. Okay, they, they, they don't line up correctly. I'm cramming that thing in there. Well, once they're on the switch, they do not line up correctly. That was the problem I had before. So I can't even put that on and actually have it on. Now this doesn't can cover the front at all. It's just the back. Let's see. Goes around, clips around. Doesn't really do much besides... Okay, best way to do that, I guess, would be that way. And it fits onto the back, but... It doesn't fit well, like, it's really snug, and I don't like the way that fits. I will say it does fit better than the original. The original one was a lot, I, I guess, looser. That's not terrible. But the fact that, let's see if we can get the, the right one on, see if it'll actually clip on. Nope, still the same thing. Right there at the top on both ones, you you have to, they, they just don't clip in. See, the bottom is, the bottom doesn't even clip. It just kind of, let's see if you can see it. See, see it just kind of lines up, but that's got to clip and it won't clip in. So I was hoping they change this, and these are all five bucks a piece. So again, think about what you're buying. Think about how much you're paying for these things and whether you, you want to spend that kind of money or not. And look, look, you can see, you can see my, my light. Put that out of the way to keep that. All right, so now we're going to take a look at... The 24 game card switch case. This can't be too terrible, right? That, that thing's junk. It, it just, it's that cheap plastic. But that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Let me grab a switch game. 
Do I have one sitting around me? Let's see if I have one in the console. I think I do. What do I have? Probably Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. So we'll put you there. So that holds memory cards, which is actually kind of cool because that'll pop out. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, they fit in there pretty well. I don't know if you guys can see that a little better. I keep moving around so the camera's trying to auto focus. But, oh no. Oh no, okay. Oh, okay. Getting out is a little, mm. Okay, that's not terrible. If you need something, you know, pretty quick just to, you know, go with you, that's going to get scratched up right away. See, scratched up. All right. So if you need something to take with you, um, you're going on a flight, going on a trip, whatever, and you just need to take a couple of games, that's not too shabby. But remember, it will get scratched up. So this is, like I said, it's simple cable, not for the Switch per se. But it does show, if I'm not mistaken, that was the Astro Controller. The Astro Controller for the PS4. And it's just simple. Now you plug this in, it lights up. It is not Type-C. So the Switch one is Type-C. And I realized I didn't buy that one. But I do own one. And they're not too bad. Um, so, yeah, there's your... Your five below gaming junk. So do you want to spend five bucks or do you want to spend 10, 15 bucks and get something decent? Well, that's up to you. Um, if you're okay with how flimsy this feels or the, the weird texture ah, on the back, the fact that this is the very glossy can uh, I just scratched up by touching it. And, ah, stick. Okay, so you don't need to even press this. You can just. All right. There you go. Five below. Switch accessories. D. Not an F. Because they're, they're okay. Uh, this one. To be honest, five bucks. I don't even want to risk putting my my Joy Cons in there and testing them. They might short them or something. <laughs> so I would say no. This would be this would be the only one I would recommend. Maybe this. This I just don't trust it. Um, but if you need something uh, rather cheaply. Uh, in a pinch or just something to protect it while you're putting in a bag or something. Uh, they do have screen protectors as well. Uh, they're supposed to come out with a new version. But I already have a screen protector on mine. On my red switch, so I wasn't going to. But they do have um, one for the switch light and one for the standard switch. It would just kind of be pointless for me to buy it. Uh, and not be able to apply it if I already have one. So, there you guys go. That's a little bit of... I buy junk so you don't have to from five below. Now, one thing I will recommend is go there and check out the games. This week I picked up these two. I actually got Zone of the Enders for PS4 and Lego Lord of the Rings for the Nintendo DS. Yeah, I got those as well. But those were like maybe a week ago or something like that. We just happened to go in one while we were up here. But thank you guys for watching. Uh... <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, if you've bought any of these accessories and your opinion on them. But hey, there you go, something a little different. Um, I just thought I would do this and say, hey, give, give you my opinion. So don't, don't, don't buy this stuff. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Head on over to redbandanagaming.com. You know what to do. Follow us on our socials. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Share this video with others. And like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again. I was going to, but I can't.